Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will talk about creating user accounts using Backendless Console. There are different ways to create user accounts uh, or user records in Backendless. Uh, using Console is one of them. Alternatively, there is uh, an API where in your application, you can have a registration form and users will be able to create their own user accounts. Uh, that's going to be discussed in a separate video. And finally, there's also a way to import user accounts uh, from a CSV where you provide a CSV file, Backendless processes it, and then creates user records for the data that is in the CSV. Again, that's also a subject for a separate video. For now, we're focusing just uh, console and how to create a user account in console. And uh, that is done in the users table. Uh, I have one here. Uh, these are the accounts that are already uh, created in my application. So let's, and these are all super heroes, except for James Bond is kind of a leftover from another thing, but I kept it in there because he's sort of a superhero or more just a hero or whatever. We're not talking about James Bond now. And let's create a super, uh, let's create an account for Spider-Man because this is one uh, that I don't have here. Well, there are plenty that I don't have, but Spider-Man is not here right now. And let's create an account for this. And to do this, you just click the new uh, button here, this link, and then console will walk you through all the cells that you need to fill out to uh, create an account. So one, it's going to be the email address since this is the first one and uh, we will do spiderman at marvel.com press enter and then console shifts to the next cell and here it is going to be spiderman press enter and then the next required field is going to be the password so we will enter the password and at this point that's it user account is created because console captured all the information that is needed at the very minimum in order to create this account. So here, this is our record, uh, our Spider-Man. And uh, if you need to provide some additional data that uh, exists as a part of your user record configuration, you can do that right here. So for instance, if we want to select uh, superpowers, and this is a relationship column, and I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because we haven't discussed relations as a part of this course, Database relations are discussed in a separate database uh, data management course. But still, I do have the column called uh, powers, which is relation to the super power table. And then for Spider-Man, if I want to configure them, uh, click on this uh, plus icon. And these are all the values from the super power table. So for Spider-Man, we can select super hearing, super speed, and let's say invulnerability click add relations. So now this value is, uh, is there, uh, for the location, uh, this, since this is, a uh, the type of it is point, click the geometry editor and, uh, we will find New York city, which is where Spider-Man is. So somewhere in Manhattan, put the point, click save. And now we have the location. So location also configured for, uh, our Spider-Man. And the net effect of this is the user record is in the database. It's in our user management system and the user with uh, Spider-Man uh, name, because this is identity uh, and the password that we have assigned will be able to log in into the application. So that's, uh, that's really what the net effect of this is. Plus you basically have a, a record for Spider-Man and uh, just like for all the other users in the application. So you will see that as you can see, this is very, very straightforward process to create user accounts in Backendless. Uh, that's all I had to show uh, in this video. It is a very straightforward process. Thank you for watching and as always, happy Backendless coding.